morning everyone, here from the Dominican Republic. I wasn't originally planning on filming right now, but Trevor just woke me up from the Delightful Travelers because we arrived in a place yesterday called uh, Constanza in the mountains of the Dominican Republic, which probably a lot of people don't even know exists. And look at this right there. So there's literally a floor of clouds right now, which I've never seen anywhere. We've even been to like the Himalayas and high altitude places in Peru and Bolivia, but we've never got to see that before. And then we come to the Caribbean and we're seeing it. So how crazy is that? The main town is down there, but you can't see it because it's beneath the clouds. And it's around 1,200 meters in height. So really high for the Caribbean. You don't usually think of this kind of mountainous scenery when you think of the Caribbean. And you can probably see from this side, it's like uh, pine trees, not tropical anymore, like forest. <laughs> Amazing to have a place like this in the Caribbean. This is definitely some nice warm coffee drinking weather. Man, what are the chances of us getting to see that? Yeah, if, uh, if I was to guess where this place was by just looking at it, I would never guess it was in the Caribbean. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and the drone shots were absolutely amazing. There's actually some mountains that way behind me up there. And when I flew over there, there's like zero clouds in the other valley. It's just completely clear. So it seems to be just something that's going on in this area. It does look like we are kind of enclosed though, doesn't it? There's mountains yeah. all around. And when we booked this place, we saw the pictures in the listing. And one of the pictures was showing exactly like this with the clouds. But we didn't know if we were going to be able to get this view like this. And now we are here with the amazing views. It's about 17 degrees Celsius right now too. So a big difference. I think it's like um, a 10 degree drop from the coast where we were. But it was even colder during the night. But it does get warm still during the day. Perfect. It's already made my day and it's just beginning. Now I'll show you the awesome place that we're staying. So this is around $200 a night, split between us, so 100 per couple. And this is like a jacuzzi, it heats up. So we we're in there last night. Probably be in there tonight too. It's really nice in the cooler weather. And then this is the main living room area. The delightful travelers. Hello everyone. Ever seen anything like that before? Mm -mm. Definitely not. Even you guys haven't? No. Not in Canada or something like that, no? I don't know if you can get something like that. We're literally <laughs> above the clouds, yeah, I don't know. The crazy part is like, like we've been coming here for years now and all the Dominicans especially have been saying, you gotta come up here to this place. And they, you know, they say it's cold and it's in the clouds. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we wanna come, like for sure, but didn't expect that. That's just, <laughs> that's just another level. Like. And we're actually sleeping on the, the floor below. 
like underground. There you go. So it's like two beds, not the biggest double beds. So we were actually like sleeping on one each since we like our space. And then the bathrooms also pretty nice, all like a wooden style. And check this out, even through here, you can still see the cloud views. Have a shower with that view. So we're on a little tour now that Carol arranged. She found like some travel agency online to bring us to a waterfall called Salto de Aguas Blancas. It's 3000 overall and I think it's like four hours. And the views on the drive have just been absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this place. It looks more like the mountains in California. Yeah, but totally not like what I expect of the Caribbean. and what I think most people expect from the Caribbean but it's a really nice surprise and we're glad that we came here and the first time that we were in the Dominican Republic we had lots of lots of people telling oh go to Yarabaco and Constanza so it's cool to see this part of the Dominican Republic yeah so we just passed many plantations in the mountains these nice little villages just very very different anyway let's check out this waterfall it is really cold up here. I wish I had a jacket now. <laughs> We've come pretty high up. So I think this is one of the viewpoints. Wow, look at the size of that. Yeah, so it's kind of funny as we were passing the villages, people in like thick coats, some of them in beanies too. Definitely wasn't a place to wear this like tank top. <laughs> So that is the main viewpoint. Beautiful waterfall. Got some mini falls down here too. Absolutely nobody here. It's funny, we brought swimwear, but there's absolutely zero chance I'm gonna swim. Zero chance, because I think the water is really cold and I can see like the cold wind. So no, we're not swimming at all. <laughs> yeah, not happening. And from what we saw in the photos, there's actually another one above there. So yeah, it's definitely a place where we're gonna have to get the drone out to see it properly from afar. for the temperature test. Freezing cold, like hurting my finger. <laughs> yeah, I, I really did not plan this well. I'm like shivering now. Oh wow, that is completely ice cold. No way. Yeah, I had no idea it was that cold. Ah, yeah, like Carol said, painfully cold. <laughs> So have you guys been to another waterfall like that in the Dominican? No, oh, this no. is our first 
first DIY first DIY waterfall. waterfall. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I've it's the first one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I've yeah. never been to Ali Mall, so that's the other really famous one. Yeah, this one though is nuts. I still can't believe like what we're looking at. Yeah. The shots in the drone are crazy. Here's a fun little fact. Do you guys know what kind of type, well, what type of waterfall this is? I don't mean the name. It's actually called like a horsetail waterfall. Whenever they're like saying, down. I think thing. there's three other categories, but don't ask me to repeat those because up here we have no uh, cell signal. <laughs> yeah. But you like cascading? Cascading's or... one. There's like a flat one, but this is definitely a horsetail. It looks super cool. Horsetail. Yeah, but do bring your uh, sweater. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely cold. I mean, don't be me and Anna. We're from Canada. Yeah. And she's cold. I'm, yeah. I'm warm. It's not yeah. that bad, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're from a warm climate, you're definitely going to find it cold. If you're from Canada or somewhere in the North and European countries, you still might find it cold. <laughs> yeah, but I think it'll be okay. I'm in a t-shirt. That Chris is in a tank top. Yeah, but I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> He's chilling, literally. <laughs> So now we're in the main town of Constanza. We come here mainly just to get a bite to eat. Seems pretty laid back. Got a church there. And obviously it's really nice because look at those mountainous landscapes. I think that was actually kind of like the direction where we were at the waterfall. So we're going for this place, La Esquina, right next to where we parked. So they have all different kinds of beer bottles and cans here from around the world like a collection. I think it's kind of like a sports bar too because they have the football teams here, the European ones, Valencia and the famous one Barcelona. So I'm going for a new Dominican beer called Uno. It's actually in English there, the one, but the guy said it's Dominican. Yeah, very light taste. I think I still prefer the Bohemia, Bohemia. That's my favorite one. And Trevor has a magic potion. <laughs> yeah, it's a green beer. It's like uh, it's like it's beer we'd have in Canada on St. Patrick's Day. So like uh, top of the morning to you. It looks like an Irish beer, doesn't it? It doesn't even look like beer. Like what is this? Huh? It's light in taste. It, it looks like it's gonna taste like juice or something. It's just a light drinking lager, like hot weather beer. Um, but it's it's playing with my mind because it's green. So it's like I don't know what this is. I thought it would be fun. Yeah, that is bizarre. So for starters, we got this thing called catibillas de queso. It's something made from yuca on the outside and inside we have cheese, which is really good because I'm a cheese lover. Yeah, they have like a dip too. A what on earth is that? Tortilla... Tortilla espanola. Espanola? espanola. espanola. It looks extra thick. Yeah, so yes. in Spain it's a big uh, ball. You know, most of this, these two are basically like Spanish tapish that you get in like anywhere in Spain. So we, yeah, the tortilla is made of egg, cheese, and potatoes, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna get this catibia to go with the sauce, really good. There's not really any places to eat near where we're staying, so usually we have to order the food for later on and then reheat it. That's what we ended up doing yesterday. So I went for the German sausage. I always think that goes well with beer. I like that mix, so that's why I went for it and the tostones you can either choose fries or tostones i always get the tostones and carol went for the fish as usual yeah mero a la plancha mero yeah with the crema which is the creamy sauce on top definitely a lot of creamy sauce carol didn't go for the tostones but for the fries how's the fish good 
a bit uh, over fried. Over fried? Yeah, but maybe it's just this part. Oh yeah, I can see it there. Mm. It looks a bit burnt. back at our place now and this is how it would look in the morning if you don't have the clouds so i think the waterfall that we went to was around those mountains back there the mountain peaks and this country actually has the highest peak in the caribbean it's around 10,000 feet which is over 3,000 meters almost the same height that we were at in uh, cusco in peru where we got altitude sickness it's just a peak that you can hike to though there's no like uh, village or city up there like in cusco but still crazy to think that there's peaks that high and we ended up getting some pizzas from a different place that we went to yesterday and that place has really nice views so there's plenty of places that you can eat around here that have views similar to what we're getting now it's around 4 p.m it gets dark around 6 so yeah that's enough time we'll be in here later on too when it's at night it's really nice when you heat it up and the outside temperature is pretty cold jacuzzi heating up outside and we've also got the fire going so we had no way to like ban the fire we took a usb uh, backup charger and then my little usb fan and this is like beating kind of waving something at it it's perfect it made a huge difference it made a huge difference we also have the cerveza we also used hand sanitizer and uh toilet paper mainly just those two things totally that was it i wish we had like lighter fluid that would have made it easier yeah but it seems like hand sanitizer and toilet paper is good enough yeah, it's real nice and warm <laughs> So it's the next morning now and we come to a strawberry plantation it's supposed to be one of the main things to do i think this is all the strawberry plantations here and it's 200 per person i think it's only like a 20 minute tour pretty quick so this is right near where we were staying just like a 12 minute drive so this is where they do all the strawberry packing just a small team of people seems like we're still waiting for our tour guide So the lady said that this area has more of the strawberries. Well, that one looks like a nice one, ready for picking. That one, definitely not. She also picked some eucalyptus for us. Really strong smell, really nice. So we can actually pick our own freezes or strawberries to take. And she said it's all organic, so it's supposed to be a very good quality. We are already picking and putting in our basket here. Yeah, so we'll just fill that up and we can try them, so that's good. Just gotta find some good ones. That one's still a bit yellow greeny. This one looks like a, a pure red one. Yeah, this one was a bit sour. I suppose it is a bit yellowy on that side. Yeah, I think this one looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a sweeter one. So the tour is in Spanish and she was just saying that the 
strawberries are sold in the supermarkets here also in the city of Santiago which is a big city and in some supermarkets in the capital Santo Domingo we went to a strawberry farm in Thailand but over there we could not pick the strawberries she said that there's not that many right now because they've all been picked and then through here I think it's a uh, another farm I don't know what they're planting we saw lots of like uh, cabbage farms so they also plant these things here framboesa which might be raspberry yeah I think it's yeah, those definitely you want to try one yeah oh these guys found some raspberries mm. <laughs> Mm, those are really good. Better than the strawberries. I kind of like it better than the strawberries. Mm. Roll one, Trevor. <laughs> a little bit sweeter. Yeah, I'll have one. <laughs> so these are the raspberry plants. Oh, it seems like they grow up around this like little string. She did say that they grow really high. So we got this other thing that I don't think I've ever seen before. Guayaba fresa. Yeah, she said it's like a mix of guava and strawberry. But I don't, I didn't even know that you could do that, like mixed two fruits. Yeah, I didn't. She said you can eat it now. And she said it's very expensive, but with the skin? Yeah, I guess. Take a bite. Oh, it's very sour. Very sour. Mm -hmm. Strawberry and guava. But yeah, I didn't know you could like mix that. Yeah, that is very sour. Still has an interesting taste though. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it will be good with chocolate on top. And she said it's expensive. Yeah. Like a speciality, I guess. And we've even got some papayas in here. Look at the size of those things. It's a cool tree too. <laughs> How's our basket looking, Carol? It's pretty much full. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we got we enough. Have a lot of uh, fres fresas for the next day. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Giant papaya. Es papaya también? Mm -hmm. Wow. Muy grande. ¿Y cuánto tiempo para estar lista? Eso. Por ejemplo, se arranca así mm. y tú la pones madura, que el sol le dé y se madura ah, sí. de una vez. Se arranca. Okay. So they brought us some strawberry tea. It's actually hot tea. Has anyone had strawberry tea before? I don't think so. I've never even heard of that. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can make tea out of anything, I guess. Yeah, true. Oh, I smell cinnamon too. Yeah, I think it does have cinnamon. Yeah, there's definitely some cinnamon. Very fruit Ooh. forward. <laughs> That's yummy, I like it. Is it already it's, sweet? It's sweet enough. I don't think you need sugar in this. Like, it's not super sweet, but... Mm -hmm. But I don't, I think if you put sugar, it'd be very, very sweet. It's a little bit strawberry, a little bit cinnamony. You know what it almost tastes like? It's almost like hot juice rather than like tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm. Yeah, it is good. Actually, like little pieces in there. I don't think you can see it on the camera. Yeah. This is gonna be our last stop of the video. This restaurant, we're actually in a different town now called Harabacoa, which is one of the other famous mountain towns here in the Dominican Republic. So still beautiful, it's all like the woods, forests. Looks pretty busy with all these cars, so we'll see if we can get a good seat. It's supposed to get good views from up there. Check this out for the barbecue area. That is some Look good looking that. meat. It's like the fire, like wood fired. And this is just some of it. Look at all the other grills. I <laughs> think there's a grill here. Yeah, check all the firewood out too. Loads of firewood. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about the food because we've shown a lot of food in this video already. But yeah, we got a lot of meat. Maybe this was what was cooking on the grill before. Yeah, ribs, 
chicken pollo, yeah. uh, green salad, salad, yuca fries, tostones, uh, habichuela. Is that what that is? Beans. Beans. Yep. Yeah. That yeah, looks like gravy and a rose. Yeah, and Carol got the fish as always. We've got some really nice views here. So we couldn't sit at the front because the tables are all taken. But even from here, it's nice either way. So we're now in the city of Santiago, which is actually the second biggest city in the Dominican Republic after Santo Domingo. So from what we've seen so far, it does look quite modern, especially the area we're in. Big modern apartments everywhere. But unfortunately, we're not going to be making a video here because we have to leave today. We're going to be heading to Santo Domingo and that's going to be the end of our trip here in the Dominican Republic had a really amazing time but if you do want to see a video of Santiago check out Anna and Trevor's channel the delightful travelers because they're going to be filming here today they also film a lot of stuff around the Dominican Republic since they live here and they'll also take you on a tour better in their video of the place that we're staying a nice place I want to thank these guys for being awesome tour guides over the last what was it eight days something like that yeah it was, so long. It was yeah, an adventure yeah. what? it's been over a week hasn't it yeah really flew by. Yeah. We're going to have to do it again soon, huh? Yeah, hopefully next year. Yeah. Don't know where, don't know when. Yeah, we're already trying to figure out where. Where do you guys want us to go? Yeah, they, <laughs> let them vote. It can be anywhere, I guess, really. We're all down with everything. Yeah. yeah. And what do you guys have planned over the next few weeks now? So we're going to film today in Santiago. Did you, did you tell them we're in Santiago? Yeah, yeah, yeah I told them. <laughs> what else are we doing? Uh, then we're going to Los Tyrannos in another week or something like that right. so we'll have a couple of videos one of the most there. beautiful regions yeah. of the dr yeah and then after that i mean this video will come out a bit later i'm sure we'll be uh we're gonna head to another caribbean island mm -hmm. so you're figuring that one out so yeah. it's gonna be fun once we uh mm -hmm. figure out the lay of the land and what to do lots of caribbean content then yeah, yeah. this year it'll be a lot, of, a lot of caribbean content until we you know head back to what usa or canada i guess canada? well yeah. we can't we're from canada but we'll yeah. figure out what to do <laughs> Yeah, so definitely follow, follow these guys for all those adventures. And we're going to be heading to the Virgin Islands. So we're planning on visiting both of them, the US Virgin Islands and the British ones. So yeah, it's going to be cool. That will be two new places for us. So looking forward to that. If you liked all our Dominican Republic adventures, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and we'll see you around.